and we want an extra twenty dollars out of you for five tickets. No, 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 no. You're gonna have to pay twenty dollars for five tickets. Look, there's snacks inside, so you don't need them. <laughs> he looks into it. I wouldn't mess with him. How is it? Is it pretty good? Is it turn out? Till I go in there? Alright. I'm gonna check it out. Alright, then Society of Student Filmmakers at Cal State San Bernardino, and also the CEO, founder of a new nonprofit based out of here in the great city of Redlands called Slate. Slate stands for Supporting Local Artists of Film Through Empowerment. Our purpose is to develop young independent filmmakers in the area. Uh, we'll do workshops. Uh, our first, first huge event will be in February, around the week of the Oscars, as a matter of fact. It's a seven day film competition. So filmmakers from around the area will come in, uh, they will pick a genre and a film director, and they'll have seven days to make a movie matching that. They could end up, for example, with Silent Film Meets Michael Bay. <laughs> <laughs> or they could end up with Tarantino Does a Rom-Com. Uh, so it should be exciting. It's going to be, uh, we have a jury already put together of uh, filmmakers from the LA area, Adam Rip, who's producing a new film with Colin Firth that's coming out soon. Um, uh, Mark Webster, who is an entertainment law attorney, who represents people like uh, Thora Birch, who is in American Beauty. The little kid from uh, The Last Airbender represents him. Uh, we also have Alan Gansberg, who wrote for TV back in the 80s and 90s, and dean of my film school that I went to in LA. Uh, and also uh, Professor Rod Metz from Cal State San Bernardino is going to be on that as well. Uh, so our big thing with Slate is to bring Hollywood to us, not the other way around. So, um, and, and this is part of it. Uh, when Slate really kicks off the ground next year, there's going to be screenings like this once a month throughout the Inland Empire, where there's beer and wine and people can have a good time and see some good movies. I want to I want to introduce Eric. Eric worked with the pilot program that Slate did this summer at a. Um, Charter school in Kamado, right? Yeah. And he worked with some high school and uh, junior high kids and helped them talk about and do some films. Right? Yeah. You want to get right. some spiel on that? Uh, sure. Show them what you did. Um, as far and as he's a grad of Cal State. <laughs> um, uh, my name is Eric, and as far as um, say goes, uh, I was able to pretty much work with some uh, high school and middle school students as well as. Um, uh, foreign exchange students and pretty much what we did is we developed a, a process of developing films we brainstormed ideas we did script writing and we also pretty much decided what we wanted to do and we implemented it into a film so uh, pretty much I had um, three classes and uh, each class was probably more around like 15 to 30 students so um, it was a good experience because the students got to learn how to pretty much creatively put together ideas and implement it into a film and work together as a team to pretty much develop their ideas. So I guess we're going to show you this. So this was pretty much um, one of the short film ideas that we developed for one of the classes. Oh. Huh. 
Yeah. Uh, all shot gear and uh, Redlands. Um, the, most of it was at Allen Avenue Market, and then uh, some of it was at a now defunct uh, tobacco lounge. Um, so, enjoy.
thought we went over this. Yeah, yeah did we? Is this, is this like pointing at you? No, now you're pointing at me. Now it is. Now it's gun down. Now you put your gun down. No, you put your gun down. No, you put your gun down. Yeah, you know, me and Bondi, we got a, a weekly routine as well. It's called the Passive Aggressive Assholes. And I play the try not to commit murder suicide <laughs> Planted shaving cream and a razor in my bathroom the other day. You see how that fucking turned out? You have to find something you like. Oh, we do. We do stuff that she likes. Like watching every fuckhole police drama there is on TV. You ever watch any of them shits? Uh, but thank you again, and there'll be more events like this coming up in the near future. Hey, Lucas. We promised Vice President Gardner that those were just special effects and no damage was done to the dorms at Cal State. <laughs> Nor to the students. Nor to the students. <laughs> Thank you so much for everyone. Awesome. Thank you.